Okay, we're going to perform a database migration using the copy database wizard. The first thing we need to do on our destination server is create a new credential. So we're going to be using the Kim Akers account. And that's going to be using the Kim Akers login. Password right. Click OK. And we need to make sure that the SQL agent is running. So we right click and start. Yes. Wait for that to start up, and then we're going to create a new proxy. So that's a new proxy. Proxy name, we're just going to call makers as well and we're going to map it to the credential that we just created okay oh, there we go it's taking us what time and we'll have it to execute SQL Server integration services packages so we click OK right so that uh, credential and proxy will have access on the source server so we go to our default source server and I'm just going to start SQL Agent on there just in case. Okay, so we're going to right click the database that we're going to copy across, which is the wingtips, go to tasks, and then go to copy database. Next, source server is our local instance. And we're going to be transferring across to our alternate version. Click Next. And we're going to use the SQL Management Object method in this case. We're going to copy the wingtips toys. We're going to call it wingtips toys on the destination as well. And we're also going to copy logins, see what happens. But you do have the options there to copy up jobs, store procedures and SSS packages and user-defined error messages there. So we're going to have copy wingtip db from default to alternate instance. That's the name of our SSS package that will be created. Click Next. We're going to run it immediately and we're going to use the Kimakers account proxy that we just created. Click Next. Okay, so we're going to transfer all of these, click finish, cross our fingers, so hopefully now this is going to transfer the wingtips database to the alternate instance. And the job has failed. Boo, boo, boo. Why has it failed? Okay, so a look. Typical, I try to copy a database that has file stream configured on it. Let's stop that and let's do the example one. Let's do this very quickly. We live and learn. Copy database. Next. Alternate. Next. SQL management object. Next. Example. Next. Next, next, okay, copy example db default alternate instance. 
instance. Next, we'll run it immediately. Let's hope this works this time. So the example data. Oh. Okay, so we failed again. Let's have another look. What's wrong with this one? Okay, it looks like it didn't want to copy across the logins. Login failed. any of those package name probably because I didn't do that last time next finish Succeed, damn you. Thinking about it. Taking a long time. Since there's nothing in the database, it's not the best. Huzzah! So refresh. So there's our example database array sorted. So the two issues that we had with the copying was um, when I was copying a file, uh, a database that had file stream enabled on the source but not on the destination, then it wouldn't copy across. And then the second time I forgot to use the right proxy, but we got there in the end.